Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Now, I have made the allegation that there is a Viking connection here because a lot of the symbols, a lot of the imagery that I'm seeing looks like Viking symbology. Now, he showed me this. At least I think this is what he was showing me. We've got a helmet here. Some type of a Viking helmet. Face type sculpture looking here. Now, when I looked at this, I thought I couldn't unsee it. I really, really couldn't. But when I zoom back out, where do you guys see this? If you zoom around the other way, like this, do you see the other Viking here? The helmet here, the nose, the mouth, the long beard? I mean, it's two images in one. It's, I mean, absolutely incredible, incredible find. And this very well might be, I know it sounds crazy, we, and I include myself in this, sometimes get caught up looking for all of the technical data that would show us uh, evidence of life. You know, ships and planes and boats and people. Sometimes it's art. The greatest um, pieces in history, the seven wonders of the world, were art. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the Colossus of Rhodes, um, the Taj Mahal, the, um, oh, there's, um, there's a mausoleum that I can't remember the name of, name of, but they were art. And what made them so fascinating was, you know, the artistic nature of it. And to see this, you know, flip around in two different images, and I'll be very honest, I'm pretty sure based on the coordinates that he gave me that this is the one that he was seeing because he mentioned he put the pin at the helmet and the pin was right here but it you know it might have well 
he could have seen both, he could have seen one, but they're both there, for sure. There's also, <clears throat> out recently, this story about the Navy releasing this um, video from one of their F-18s. And when you watch the documentary of it, they found, or they came in contact with, one of these craft that they basically refer to as a tic-tac-shaped craft. And they not only had it on um, a destroyer, a CG-class destroyer, um, Ticonderoga-class destroyer picked it up multiple times. They had it on <clears throat> track from an AWACS above, and the aircraft carrier had it, and the plane itself at so all four of them were tracking this thing so it wasn't like you know this was just some glitch and they tried to intercept the thing and you know like usually they just don't stand a chance and they disappear well they've put this out now and i wanted to show you guys something i've always made the allegation that and i get a lot of crap for it i don't think this stuff is from outer space like from some other planet somewhere i think it's from our deep oceans and primarily Antarctica. I found some stuff, and this is, of course, very close to the coast. And I don't think I have the year right here. Let me see if I can find it. Here it is. Now, it's on the surface, and it's very strange, the shape of it. But it matches what they describe. Now, this isn't white like a Tic Tac, but it has that bait, that same general shape to it. And it's very, very out of place. When you look at everything around it, it just sticks out like a sore thumb. And I also got really, really excited because I found some high-res imagery inside what they call the circle. And I really hate using that term because... There's all these nut jobs out there who believe that there's a giant ice ring around flat Earth. <clears throat> a lot of, pardon me, a lot of the things that we find are around the coast of Antarctica. And that's because that's where the vast majority of the high-res imagery is. But I found some stuff that was, I mean, way in, way, way in. And it was another thing that I had labeled Tic Tac Craft. And as you can see, and I'll zoom out here. Let me see real quick if I can just get this to finding the right year too. That's the tough part. That's what we're flipping through right here is the uh, the imagery. There we go. And here's this round white oblong craft setting right here on the surface and this is really really a long way from the coast this is about the limit that you will find high-res imagery going in and it goes to I think the reason that you see high-res imagery there are clearly and of course Google being what they are all sorts of different reasons why certain areas would be imaged that way and certain areas wouldn't be I think a lot of it is follow the money <clears throat> I think there are governments out there looking for um, areas where they might find natural resources, primarily, to my mind, China and oil, because they would have the money and they would have the desire, and that's a whole other investigation for another day. But I just want to zoom out here and show you where we are and how close we are. This is what they call, quote-unquote, inside the ring, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. You see this ring? Inside here, there is virtually nothing. Nothing that, uh, there's some stuff for sure, but this is still a good thousand miles in from the water. And I wanted to show something else too from that same region. Oh. Now I've had this one for a while. 
This one is going to be a tough one for anyone, anyone to disprove. Can you tell me what this is? Look at this entire ridge, how it's perfectly undisturbed, but for some reason, in this perfect half-moon shape, all of the snow is removed right down to the rock. And not just removed, it's kicked out like a giant gopher dug it out. I have mentioned before that uh, <clears throat> we have Bashan freeze dogs. And these things are tunneling machines. And for those of you uh, wanting an update on Chewy, by the way, Chewy's doing fantastic. He's running around. He's got a little bit of a limp in one leg, but you would have uh, not thought that anything was wrong with him. He uh, made it through the surgery, recovered, and, you know, he's 15 years old, so he's not as spry as he used to be. But we saw this all the time. They would tunnel under the fences. All the time. This is evidence of digging. This is not... Uh, some natural avalanche. I mean, you can see, look at the shape of it. It's, it's undeniable. And there's, when you look out around the region, it's not like this is some huge expedition. Whatever happened here happened very quickly and happened very specifically. Now, what the reason is, I don't know. But you'll never convince me that this is just some natural avalanche. It's just this tiny little very specific area decided I'm going to avalanche today and everything else around it is just going to stay. But this is just one of the few, one of the things that you can find in these high-res regions. Let's see. Where is another one? Da, 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 da. How about we go to... Now... This goes to something a little bit more boring, and I guess we're at 13 minutes, so we'll call this the last one. I have found evidence of what lo looks like building foundations, where there used to be a building. It was a big building, and it was a heavy building, and it left a footprint and a foundation, and the building long since gone has left that. Now here's evidence number one, perfectly square area. And very close to it, and much clearer, over here is evidence number two. And as you can see, there's a huge interrupt in the, in the ridge here. Everything's fine, and then all of a sudden, boom. We see this perfectly square, what looks like what used to be a building, and there's more evidence over here of the same thing. And there was another one in the region. Let's see if I can find it. All right, that's the one we were just at. That was the first one. So, let's see what this one is. Yeah, this is a little bit different way to look at it, but... <clears throat> You notice these, all of these ridges of rock, of what we believe to be just rock, all stop right here. And when you look at them closely, you can see that there's walkways, alleys. Something's going on over here that's orange, and I mean out of nowhere orange. That makes me think, you know, this is something that was at one time hand of man. And I guess we'll do one more real quick. Okay, this straight up looks like a craft that has landed on the side of a mountain. It's a very dark gray in color. And you can see around it, the heat has melted off the snow. 
And it's not there in earlier years. It completely disappears. Plus, you can see evidence of people having gotten out, made some kind of disturbance in the snow around it. Now, the shape is very odd. I can't get it any better than this. But these are just a few finds in those regions, and there's just scads of stuff waiting to be uncovered in Google Earth Pro. And with SKMZ file in those areas, I'll bet we could get all sorts of people finding all sorts of stuff. So anyway, I will leave it there. Like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. Hot time, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir?